welcome to project 17 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating our custom cursor by just using html css and javascript so whenever we hover our mouse over to somewhere so this cursor will go with us right here okay so this is what we are going to be building in this video and we're not going to be focusing on the ui because the main focus of this video is going to be this cursor right here okay so this circle and this cursor without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write your code all right so getting into our 17 project so let me create a new folder give me the name of all 17 of cursor okay inside this um, folder i'm going to just create three files index.html and then style.css to be precise not c sharp come on css and then we have is like app.js inside this index.html so i'll just write a cursor here and just link it with my javascript file and also link it with my css file now we are good to go okay so now let me just uh, hide this metadata from there and now let's write our html so the first thing which you have to do is to just write a, a cursor right here deal with the class of cursor and then deal with the class of container and this container will hold a few things so h1 mouse curse cursor project and then paragraph of lorem and then finally we have a button which will say like learn more okay so once you set a file so this is it about our html and now let's right click on it and open it with a live server right here so this is how it looks like right now so now let's jump right into our css and let's format it a bit so the first thing which you have to do is to go to our google and fonts.google.com and once you go there we have to import a font call uh let me just delete this one from a previous project and now just write like play fire this or fair display i guess that was the name yep back and click on this one and let me choose this one import it in my css copy it and import it and then also tag this font family and paste it just right here and like so and now we are good to go bye bye to them all right so now i'm going to start working with my body and i'm going to give a height of 100 vh and background color will be totally black display will be flex because we want everything to be centered just to my corner will be centered flex direction will be column and align item will be also center okay so once we set a file and everything is now at the center but we cannot see them because of this black color so now let's select our first container right here so now i just write like container inside this container text align will be center and margin uh will be zero auto and save it and there we go everything is centered but we cannot see it still because we have to change the color of it and now let's select our h1 which is right here inside the container so we are going to be just selecting that by just writing h1 and here we are going to be just changing the color to like totally white and font size to 4 uh, rem and then we have a font family of um, that one let's clear this one and uncommon this one and cut it and just paste right here cut that one and save it and this is our font and this is our project looks like right now so now let's select or deal with the class of cursor and i'm going to do that but let me just select my paragraph which is this paragraph right here so now let's select this paragraph inside this paragraph the color will be totally white and the max width will be just 700 pixel and then the font family will be sans serif and letter um, spacing will be just 2 pixel and then line height will be 22 pixel and margin bottom okay margin bottom will be 40 pixel save it and this is how it looks like right now so now let's select our button so i'll just write a button okay let me just delete the button and this is the button right here okay so we have to provide a padding of zero margin of zero and border of transparent and also a background of a background image but just a background of transparent as well and the color will be totally white and the border will be two pixels solid white <laughs> okay and then we have to just provide a bit of padding like top and bottom will be 10 pixels and left and right will be 20 pixels font weight will be bold and text transform will be 
uppercase save it and this is how it looks like right now so if you want to provide a little bit of um howard stat or this you can also provide there the main focus of this project is about that cursor not the ui so that's why i built a little bit simple ui right here and you can just provide animation you can do lots of stuff okay but i'm not gonna do that okay i forgot one more thing for the java uh script we have to just write it or dev with the class of cursor i mean like this cursor let me just show you that um okay this cursor so we want to get their div with the class of cursor so you want the position to be absolute and we also want the top will be like 50 percent and left will be also 50 percent and we want to give them a width of 15 pixel and you can increase it and decrease it by however you want but in my case i'm just giving a width and height of 15 by 15 and background color of yellow you can also change the color if you want to border radius will be 15 percent and then transform translate will be just minus 50 percent comma minus 50 percent cell file and this is our uh, cursor right here and so it's not moving right now because we don't provide any javascript for that so now let's jump right into our javascript all right so the first thing that you have to do is to just grab this cursor so we are going to be just writing cursor and it will be now equals to document or query selector of that cursor all right so here's our cursor so now let's create a function like give a name of like move cursor and it will be now equals to this function and it will take like two parameters like page x and page y okay so then we are going to be just writing like our cursor we're going to be selecting our cursor right here and you want to change the style to like style dot left will be equals to like page x and then plus and then pixel then duplicate sign of code and then it will be now equals to page y and instead of left i'm gonna just change this one to top and i want to attach an event listener on the document so whenever we mouse move so this function will happen like function and then event and then we have to pass our function inside this function so like mouse cursor event dot page x and then event dot page y cell file okay so i just messed up here it should be cursor not cursor all and now here you can see whenever i hover my mouse over to it so i see this yellow box uh, following my cursor right here and you can increase or decrease the size of it if you want to but i'm not going to do that and now let me just comment this line of code or you know what let me just show you something so um this event so let me just write a comment like event dot page x is equal to uh across and then this event dot page y is equal to up and down so now let me show you that so just write like console log of page x duplicated page y and then here we have to just provide a comma and then i want to write like event dot page x copy it and then comma page y so save our file and let's open or so now let me just refresh this page right here so here you can see whenever i hover my mouse over to it so just focus on this area page x will give us their data and page y will give us their data so here you can see whenever we hover our mouse over to it so now this ball or this uh, yellowish kind of container is now following our cursor that's because we are now controlling our cursor by using just this page x and page y events right here okay so we can also see that just to remove the and also just remove both of them so we can also see just a page in um, this page x and page y are the properties on this event so once we save our file and now if i just uh, move my cursor so here you can see it's giving us this data right here and the same will happen to this page y right here okay so if you want to just read the data so i'm gonna just write an event right here and it will just open let me just comment this one out and uh, okay not this one but let me just tag that somewhere else i guess that would be fine but let's suppose if we just uh open the first one if you just hit control or command f and we just search for page x so here you can see it will now gives us this accordion right here this is the data of page x and this is the data of page y so if we change the cursor so it will now gives us new and new data right here depending on the mouse cursor so here you can see this is a page x data right now and this is the page y data right now okay 
So this is what I want to show you in this project. So now here, let me just uncomment my code. So here you can see now this ball or that container is now moving. Whenever we just move our cursor to like here, you can see that. It can be quite simple and useful depending upon the project if you want to use that. So it can also affect the UI a bit. And later on the course, we are going to be also creating our custom uh, cursor. But for now, this is going to be it. All right, so that was it about this project. So if you guys don't know about Git and GitHub, so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one. And if you guys do know about Git and GitHub and want to push your code into your GitHub repository, so now I'm going to do that. So now let me just clear my terminal a bit. And then I'm going to just try to like zoom out of it first of all. Git status. So it will now give us this 17 project right now. We are at the 17 project. So git add everything, then git commit dash m of like a uh, cursor project and then get push origin main and hit enter and it will now push our code into our github repository all right so now let's check it refresh it and now here you can see where is my 17th project all right here you go so if i click on that it will now brings us to this page we have their app.js data or code or, and then we have an index.html file code and then we have finally standard css code right here okay so i guess that was it about tonight's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye